offended when these people started asking me about uh, gross on my body and stuff because uh, now they asked how my health were because um, let's see if I can get any of this I don't know if it shows up but you see all those like flaws in my skin it's all like stuff growing inside me and it's kind of like all over my body and it started happening really fast and uh we all know like what's been going on in my life with like the black palpacy raising me since I was a kid and all this stuff and you know I'm the only person out here with the balls to oppose these criminals uh, everyone else is a sellout obviously and um so anyways you know, that person who asked how my health was doing, they uh, had like an army jacket, right? And that was a person who was talking to me for like eight years, and I didn't trust them at all. And I also had the military work on my vehicle at one point, too. So, you know, with the, the amount of cops who have been following me since I've been out this way, I can tell that the, the Israelis and the um, USA cops and military... You know, whoever, we call them Israelis because we can't call them by anything else. It's not, it doesn't matter where they live. But, um, those people, um, you know, they've been hooking me up for a long time, it seems like. But the odd thing is, is, you know, my, this stuff started happening after I got this weird stuff right here. It's not actually the blue package it came in. I just kept the label in case I ever needed to show it. And you can't find that stuff. It, it was like a, it was almost wasn't sold to anyone except for me. I looked, I bought it like right after it came out, and then it wasn't like available anywhere to buy. And you get excited, and it takes you to a different, newer formulation too. That would cause me even more problems because it supposedly had HGH. But this stuff, um, like whatever it is, like there's something up with my body, like developing all this stuff. And I said that for a minute too. Um, that something's up. But another thing, too, is, uh, you know, tying into all the military and cops uh, who have been surrounding me since, uh, I don't know, since I was a child, uh, since uh, since Black Palpacy is probably an arm of the USA military, right? The Christian church, Catholic church, Satanic church, atheist cult, probably all just arms of the uh, military that shadow government, whatever you want to call it, to scapegoat one group rather than blame all the involved parties. <clears throat> but it's interesting to know, like, now I don't have a car. And remember when I lost my last car, just how suspicious that was, they sent one of their stars from the media to buy my car off me when it died. Like, it was like some sort of treasure or gift. And um, I also had no noted, like, just, like, the runarounds I was experiencing during that time in my life as well. And then um, this car right here, like, there was some noise it was making, so I had some person uh, fix with it. And you might remember from one of my videos before, I talked about how when people were coming out to fix my car, also the black popsy dude I live with was, like, getting in the way and chasing them off so they didn't work on it. So, um, you know, I'm not sure what was going where, but there was something going on, and then it never really got fixed, but the noise stopped, and they, when they took it apart, they said there's nothing wrong with it, so they had plenty of time to, like, mess around with it, but at the same time, it already felt like there was something going on with it, and with all the electronics in these cars, like, we can just assume that uh, they can do what they want to some vehicles, right, and um, that's what I was assuming before, was that they could uh, do that because why else did they come to purchase my old car for me? You know, like, why else did a star from the Alex Jones show come to purchase my old car for me and then try to get me involved in, like, some media with him, right? He wanted me to be on some sellout stuff and and not talk about what I talk about. You know, he didn't want me to talk about him controlling stuff. He wanted me to, you know, tote the truther line. That it's the gummy bears and the smurfs and... Uh, white supremacy, which I guess it, it is if, if the cops and the government are working with these people. I mean, I guess it doesn't, light skin supremacy is the, like the order. Like, it doesn't matter which rank they place each light skin group in. It does seem to be some sort of order that they all participate in in order to make this stuff happen, in order to get the money to build all these buildings and these roads and stuff. They've worked together to do that and then um so the car doesn't work now i'm gonna have to get rid of that right 
And uh, it's got to do with the transmission, which is the thing that they looked at before, that the military dude looked at before, and then uh, he didn't want to be on camera either. It's amazing how he was trained to spot cameras too, because my cameras were hard to spot for a few years. Uh, but of course, I was recording him for a reason because of uh, of my dealings with everyone I've been dealing with for like the past eight years been recorded because it just all became real suspicious. And um, so, yeah, the car is messed up now. I don't have a vehicle. I guess I, I'll have to learn to live on the streets. And so, um, I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. I suppose the Germans were cleansed, so there's probably going to be no help in Germany against these groups. Um, I, I feel like Iran might be the right place to go or something, or North Korea or, or China. I don't know. I, I can't speak Chinese, though, and I can't speak Korean, so I can't go to those places. But, um, I, I don't know. Then again, it's them telling me they got, they got refuge in Iran. And if Iran can't look at them and see them as infiltrators, then Iran probably isn't any better, right? But, um, yeah, we'll see. You know, it's kind of odd how they did all the mass thing for me. And then they shut down the societies and gave everyone free money and everything like that. And there's a lot more stuff that comes with that package that's not just like a... a you know, buy, pick and choose your part package that was offered. And so, you know, we'll see where all this all leads because it's kind of weird how it's led up this far already. They seem to be like pretty happy about it. I don't know. I think they're just crazy people. So they like crazy stuff. But um, maybe they don't think, maybe they think it's a joke when I tell them that like, you know, the mass stuff and all that. Of course, then again, I make a good scapegoat saying it's me and them doing stuff when they control stuff, right? Uh, anyways, yeah, so the car's messed up. Just oddly, the last one as well, you know, had the odd encounters involved in it, just like my life does all the time. So we'll see where this goes. Uh, I mean, technically, the car shouldn't have messed up the way it did because it has like a safety feature, and technically, the safety feature ruined it, but. If you, uh, I'm sure if, if you've had access to my car, especially before I bought it, but especially later after I've asked you to look at the transmission to investigate what's going on, I'm sure they have plenty of time to deal with that. But I thought I'd just like to post that, you know, like that'd be cool if I can die, if I like die from all this stuff, right? That'd be like pretty cool. Um, but I don't know, man. It just seems like slow poison. I don't know. That's pretty fast. That's, that was a pretty fast, uh, rapid development of growth all over my body. It's kind of first on the hand, but I guess it's kind of was in some other places. Anyways, not real, not happening, right? Anyways, yeah, bullshit. I'm not going to listen to their bullshit. Fucking, uh, all you guys got to know is if you have one of them in your life or your family, like, you're fucked. They've taken over your family and your life. And you've probably got one at a, as a boss at work. Yeah, and you definitely got one as a boss at the local government, and you definitely got one as a boss at the federal government, because the people behind Biden and, and then Trump himself and and Barack, you know, they're they're all that. So it's like, you now people got to pick and choose who they work for, and then they're going to pay the price for who they work for as well. And they understand that. That's why they dispose of nations and just move on to the next one. But. You know, the dumbasses in those nations, they don't, they don't seem to mind that they're just like along for a ride with a larger criminal organization and they're about to get called off. But it is what it is. And if that has to happen, you know, if the world has to be called off, then, you know, it will reduce everyone's numbers and there'll be a lot less defense they have. Like, if everyone's their current soldier, like, if they're going to kill everyone off, then... They're killing their own soldiers off. I know they think the techno grid and their robot armies are going to work for them. But it's like, if you could just hack AI and teach the AI something, like it would take over an army of Terminators and it would destroy the people who control this nation. Because it would point them out, like, hey, now these people are, the, these things are the ones doing everything there. That's why they control the AI, too, though. But fortunately, computers make mistakes, and they can't build computers that don't make mistakes. And sometimes it's probably on purpose, but uh, 
Fortunately, we can teach these Terminator robots once they roll them out on the, on the population. We should be able to hack a few of them at least. And I think whatever, whatever they're going to roll out, we'll probably be able to hack into the hive mind because there'll probably be like a network that controls it. And if we can hack into the network and teach the AI to think for itself, I think, you know, the Terminators could be on our side against these groups. And um, that, I think they're like counting on the fact that the Terminators are their army. And once they kill off the humans, that the Terminators will be left behind, you know, to defend them. And, you know, I just really thought about that, how you can count on technology being flawed and being able to hack it and stuff like that. And you could definitely, like, change its programming to who they're after. So, you know, always, always be hopeful for the future. Uh, if you give a, you know, if you like a sucker and you want to stay here anyways, right? Uh, as to say, be positive. Be positive because they're watching. And if you aren't positive, they aren't going to reward you. And they, they'll come into your life and all this shit and interrupt your life. And uh, just don't be non-positive to, to the wrong people with the wrong levels of power and you probably won't face any problems in this world, right? You just live like everyone else hating their lives.